Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today because right now a pattern has been developing and actually already broke out to the upside that I think very few people are expecting right now. As you can see about two days ago, we got a bounce from of this 60K level. And as soon as we got this move to the upside, well, we actually started developing this pattern right here called a bull flag. And in order to know the price target for the bull flag pattern, you simply take the pole of the bull flag and move it to the point of the breakout. So as you can see right here, the price target for this breakout pattern is actually 67.4K, which is about a 5% move in the price of Bitcoin. And I think this will be very bullish for a lot of altcoins in the short term as well. But I'll get into some altcoins and stuff like that later on in the video. First, we're going to cover Bitcoin. One last thing to note about this bull flag pattern is that yes, we have seen a candle close, above the point of the breakout. However, I would really like to see a clear confirmation that we break this previous high with potentially a retest as well. And in the case that that happens, then I think it is very likely we end up reaching this price target. However, one thing we must take into account is of course the support and resistance levels in the short term. So first of all, let's just cover the big support level, which is below us from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And I do think that this is a massive level of support as I have been talking about over the past couple of weeks or so, because we have held support here many times, even during very stressful times. So like I said, this is a big level of support. And if you want to know all the support levels below this one, then I recommend just checking out yesterday's video because I went into detail there. The video is titled Bitcoin bullish signal just flashed. And while you're there on my channel, please do make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now taking a look at the levels of resistance. First of all, we have this big level of resistance from about 65.5K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. But once we clear that level of resistance, then the next level above it is already at 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. So that's about it for the support and resistance levels in the short term. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map on the one week time frame, you can see that yesterday we took out a little bit of liquidity to the upside here. However, it is very clear that most of the liquidity is still to the upside. For example, right above the current price, we have about $800 million worth of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that will lose their money on their trade if the price reaches this level with the level that I'm talking about being 65.5K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. However, that is definitely not all for the liquidity in this chart because zooming out on the one month time frame, you can see that it tells a very similar story with most of the liquidity being to the upside. We have about $1.7 billion worth of liquidations at about 71.8K and then even above that at 73,100 US dollars for the price of Bitcoin, we have $2 billion worth of liquidations. So I do think, like I have been saying over the past couple of weeks or so, I do think it is very likely that we end up taking out this liquidity at some point during this bull run. Now, before moving on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows, I do want to congratulate everyone on the Bitcoin halving, which happened yesterday. Obviously, this was something we covered over the last week or two, and it is just a very big event for crypto. If you don't know what this is, very simply said, every day Bitcoin miners are producing Bitcoin and the amount of Bitcoin that can be produced just got halved. And this happens only every four years. So, of course, this means that there is now less supply coming on the market every single day. And therefore, if the demand for Bitcoin stays the same, but the supply is decreasing, then of course that would mean that the price goes up over time. So typically this is a very bullish event for Bitcoin in the long term. However, in the short term, it isn't that noticeable. And of course the next Bitcoin halving will be in 2028. So. Uh, this is a very big event in crypto and I just want to have mentioned it one last time until the next halving. So moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today. Obviously, we are currently in a weekend, so we won't get any new data for Saturday and Sunday, but we did just receive the data for Friday. And it is very interesting to see such a low number. I don't think I have seen that before. 
because on average, we either get a very large outflow for the day or we get a very large inflow for the day. And seeing 4 million here is something new. So that's interesting. On average, we see about $180 million worth of inflows every single weekday. However, for yesterday, we saw Grayscale selling about $90 million worth of Bitcoin and the other ETFs buying a total of about $86 million worth of Bitcoin. So as you can see by this column right here of GBTC, obviously Grayscale is selling millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin every single day, but at some point they will run out of Bitcoin and therefore there won't be as much sell pressure. So I do think eventually in a couple of months from now, once the sell pressure stops, this will be very bullish for the price of Bitcoin. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. First, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level, then lost support at the 618 Fibonacci level and traded all the way to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, which is where we found some support and are now just consolidating for a little bit. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that over the last couple of days, we have just been trading sideways between this level of resistance and this level of support. However, we are forming this ascending triangle pattern. And in the case that we do break out to the upside from this triangle pattern, then the price target will be about $3,300. However, in the case that we break to the downside of this triangle pattern, then the price target will be about 2880. And ultimately this triangle pattern will break out before April 22nd. So in about two days or so. So this is definitely something I will be keeping an eye on over the next couple of days. And if you want some real time updates of what I think is going on in the market, as well as even some of my trades that I just share for free in the discord, then I recommend you go to the description of the video you're watching right now and click the first link in the description and you can join my discord for free using that link. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame, just like Ethereum, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level and then lost support at the 618 Fibonacci level. And after getting a scary dip below the 0.5 level, we actually found some support and are now potentially trading back to the upside. So I can say that in the short term, we have definitely held this 0.5 level of support at about 136. But in my opinion, I think we are not out of the woods yet for Solana because currently we are in this big level of resistance from about 140 all the way up to 150. And it also coincides with this downward sloping trend line that I think can also act as a big level of resistance here. But in the case that we do just break through this trend line and start trading to the upside, well, the next level of resistance above this is already at 166 all the way up to 171 dollars however in the case that we get rejected from this trend line then the next level of support below us is from about 133 all the way down to 125 us dollars so in my opinion i think it is likely that we are about to see fireworks for solana with either a break to the upside or a rejection from this trend line so i will definitely check in with this again tomorrow now if you want to unlock some bonus content you can do that on patreon i launched it yesterday so if you're interested in getting some extra content where i share for example my wins and losses as well as even my stock portfolio personal finances stuff like that and you also want to support the channel then patreon is a great way to do it i highly recommend you go check it out because you also get a cool role inside my discord server so i highly recommend you go check it out thank you for watching once again and i'll see you tomorrow in the next one